Looking for a job that will feel rewarding and help you maintain a good living? Then working as a forensic investigator may be for you. Crime scene investigators are tasked with investigating and securing evidence at crime scenes. They will do things such as documenting and collecting physical evidence, testifying in court, preparing crime scene diagrams, photographing crime scenes, and identifying which evidence to collect. There is never a boring day as a CSI. You can never know what to expect when walking into a crime scene. An entry-level crime scene investigator with less than one year experience can earn up to $50,000 a year. The 10% top earners make as much as 98 grand a year. As far as educational requirements, they are often set by the hiring agency. Some require a two-year degree, while others demand a bachelor's or even master's degree in both scientific subjects and criminal justice. In college, you should major in chemistry, biology, and or physics and take elective courses in law enforcement, criminal justice, and crime scene processing. Working as a CSI, you'll be working very close with the police. So you'll be primarily working at police stations, law enforcement offices, and forensic labs. Most importantly, forensics investigators are in high demand because of the growing role and importance of DNA and other forensic evidence in the criminal justice system. Projections call for approximately 2,600 additional jobs for crime scene investigators through 2026. So if you're looking for a job that brings fulfillment and justice to your community, do what it takes to become a CSI. Have you ever wondered what forensic pathology is? Well, it's the study of the examination of sudden, unexpected, or violent deaths. Medical analysis is used to identify the manner and cause of death, and criminal justice is also an aspect involved in foren forensic pathologist examinations. The pathologist observes and draws evidence based conclusions of post-mortem details simply from an objective anatomical standpoint. So let's get into some of the places you would be working at as a forensic pathologist. Uh, the first would be hospitals, that's a very common one. Courts, also federal agencies, commercial laboratories, mostly morgues, also medical schools, and private practices. So the level of education you would need to be a forensic pathologist is either to have an MD or a DO, which is just simply a medical degree. So you must first earn the bachelor's degree and then you move on to the medical. Um, you also need four to five years of training in anatomical, clinical, and forensic pathology, and one year residency or fellowship in forensic, forensic pathology. So by far the largest benefit of being a forensic pathologist it would be the salary. The median annual salary for this career is roughly 194000 a year, and the 90th percentile salary is 220000 a year. Um, so the job availability for forensic pathology is widespread and relatively in higher demand than other medical careers considering the increase in drug-related deaths on an annual basis. So all in all, if you're looking for a high-paying job with a new story behind a death every single day, forensic pathology is the perfect career choice for you. You will never be bored. Also, if you have any sort of interest in psychology or criminal justice, those factors play a pretty large role in this career choice.